bit about Christmas, birthdays, that kind of thing. Gifts that you should get for the trans men in your life when you think that they're way too hard to shop for. So stay tuned, we'll break a few things down, we'll see what you think. What's up guys, thanks for checking in here to first to know exactly what you should get your trans guy in your life for Christmas or for birthdays. Um, in the trans community, there's a few different things that people need that really, really help and really make a big difference in our day-to-day -day lives. So I figured I'd break it down for you guys, kind of show you an insider's life of what we gotta purchase, what we gotta deal with, and things that you can do to help and purchase for us for things like holidays and Christmas so that way you can stop thinking about how hard they are to shop for. Number one, binders. A lot of people in the trans community suffer from top dysphoria. Binders are to compress your chest. You can watch my other videos posted up here and around or whatever to know a little bit more about that kind of thing. Now purchasing a binder for somebody else, you have to make sure you know their size. So if it's your son, you know it's e it might be easier to check his laundry as you're doing his laundry or if it's your boyfriend, then you can definitely easily check that in their laundry or you know pay attention a little bit like to what kind of binders they like or just kind of ask those subtle questions. But sizing is key and making sure that you're purchasing a, a safe binder is essential. And that leads me to number two, KT tape. KT tape is something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't have a huge chest, but it feels huge to me, so I use KT tape. I gotta get my chair here. I use KT tape to bind, so it kind of gives me a flatter feeling, and it doesn't compress me at all. It keeps my shoulders free. I don't have to worry about my shirt sliding down and exposing my shoulders, which I can't stand. Um, especially when I have to wear a binder. It also keeps the rib cage tight and around your back. It, it, KT tape frees you from all of that stuff. You feel like you put your arms out and breathe. Video linked up here. Number three, if your trans guy is already transitioning and he's on testosterone, you might want to consider getting one of these packs from Stealth Bros. They have these kits where you can store all of your trans needs in there. You can put in um, syringes, your tea needles, your testosterone themselves. They also double to be super stealth for when you're on your shark week if you are not transitioned on testosterone. So that can be super, super helpful using the men's restroom because that gets stressful. Boom, number four, boxers. There's a lot of different boxers out there that are specifically designed for trans guys. Um, obviously, our hips aren't the same size. You can always buy them just regular boxers because I know I love getting a new pair of boxers. Like, it's just a nice feeling and they're warm and it's Christmas or it's my birthday and I can wake up the next day and my outfit matches my drawers and that's just, I don't know anybody who doesn't enjoy the feeling of their outfit matching their drawers. So. There's a few different websites you can check out. Rodeo is a good one. I'll post some links in the bottom so you guys can see. Number five, grooming kit. When you are on testosterone and you have all this extra facial hair, chest hair or back hair, or leg hair is going all over the place, you'd be surprised how much a grooming kit will really help just kind of like trim it down. And you have to think about this. We've never have to, had to buy ourselves this stuff before. We've never had to look into this stuff before and really compare on what's best. So if you are a mom watching this, buy your son the same stuff that you buy your husband with the same kit. I'm sure that would mean a lot to him. Or you can buy him his own kit of the best kind that you've done your research on. Mind you, I'm filming this in No Shave November, so can't really give you any demonstrations right now because I'm really trying to see where the hell this is gonna take me, so. Number six, Packers. Now obviously, if you're a mom watching this video trying to figure out what you wanna buy your trans son for Christmas, a packer or an STP device, if you don't know what that is, I will link some videos up around here, but pretty much it's a prosthetic that you can put in your pants to make you feel less dys dysphoric about not being a cis guy. Cis meaning born in a male body. If you are uncomfortable or don't know what kind to purchase for your significant other or your son or your cousin or your uncle or your brother, you can make them some pretty cool like gift card for free packer, gift card for tackling dysphoria and just put a Visa gift card in there and then just make sure that they actually spend it not on bills and on themselves. So that's just a creative way you could do it and just pack it in. I get in there. You could just put it right in there, let them open the card and see that like, hey, I hear you, I feel you, I don't want you to feel this pain, I don't want you to stress about this. I know this is a kind of strange conversation to have, so I just figured I would just give you the cash so you can just purchase yourself the best gift that you can that works best for you. Binders, SCPs, packers, boxers, 
those all kinds of things. If you know the person well enough, get them something that you think they will like. If not, just give them that little slip and that, and let them know that you're thinking of them, that you don't want them to struggle with this dysphoria, that you're there with them. And last but not least, if any of those options don't sound very good to you and that's not really what you're trying to do, I would just encourage you to kind of realize the fact that we're trans doesn't necessarily mean that our entire identity is surrounded by that. I would just encourage you to just kind of get to know the person if you're going to buy them a gift, get to know them, figure out what their interests are. It doesn't always have to be trans related, although those things are so needed. If you're uncomfortable with that, then just have a conversation with them, get to know them, and really figure out what they need. Whether that's an oil change or whatever it is, I encourage you just to get to know the person and kind of just reach out to them. So that's my six plus one tip about what to get your trans man in your life. Links in the description below. Um, go ahead and check those out. I'll, I'll link it to some really cool stuff that are the top best recommended products that are safe. Drop a comment down below if you are kind of have some questions and you're not sure what to buy this trans individual. Also consider subscribing if you want to learn more about what it's like to be transgender in today's society. It's the whole reason I made this channel. And I hope you guys are having an excellent day. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're loved. You're valid. You are the bomb diggity. I'll see you in the next video. Oof. <sighs>